Good morning, my dear friends. Welcome you all to part 4 HVAC cooling load calculation video. So, till part 3 video, we completed internal sensible load items like people, light, appliance, uh, power or motor load and we saw how to find out the U value for different structure like uh, glass, uh, floor, uh, roof, everything. So, now we will start with the delta T that is temperature different. So, this is, very, uh, this is required for us to uh, apply in the formula. So, let us start the video. So normally what happens, the temperature different between outside and inside. So in this uh, video, we are we are considering the Dubai municipality. So Dubai municipality, the outdoor condition you need to consider like 115 degree Fahrenheit and the indoor condition that means the comfort condition 24 degree Celsius or 75 degree Fahrenheit. So 115 minus 75, it is 40 degree Fahrenheit. So now see the difference. Here suppose consider this is the outdoor area. Here it is 115 and coming to the indoor AC area. First consider the AC area. There are three AC area. So the temperature difference between outdoor and indoor 115 minus 75 40 degree Fahrenheit for this three floor. But coming to the non-AC, we cannot expect the temperature of uh, indoor condition 75 degree Fahrenheit will be in the same for the non-AC area because the non-AC area temperature different will be there. So, we are considering 5 degree lower than what we are considering for the AC. For example, here we are considering 40 degree Fahrenheit, then here we will consider 5 degree uh, lower than that, that is 35 degree Fahrenheit, okay. So, now you know all the formula Q is equal to UA delta T. So, U value we just know we got from the table. This U value of the partition if you see here it is uh, 0.18. Okay, we can find the same, we can uh, use the same value. Then area we, uh, we just saw the area, I mean length into height 68.88 and this is the delta T. Delta T as I told now temperature different between outdoor to indoor. Okay, but here the partition and the floor what happens? It is not directly exposed to the sun. So, it is the non-AC area. So, non-AC area means outdoor minus indoor minus 5. So, that is the reason I consider 115 minus 75 minus 5. So, that is 40 degree minus 5. So, 35. So, finally, this is the Q value of the partition. So, similarly, one more important thing that is an idea like a partition area like a toilet, uh, its door should have the proper undercut because what is the problem uh, when we when we give the fresh supply, fresh supply to the uh, non-AC area, for example, here you consider the uh, partition wall area like a toilet, uh, we will not normally drop uh, give the fresh air directly to the directly to the inside of the toilet. So, we will drop the supply air or fresh air outside the toilet and we have to provide the undercut at least one centimeter centimeter below the door. So, uh, what will happen in the toilet we have the negative ventilation. So, we need to take the fresh air from the outside. So, it will use that 1 centimeter undercut uh, to pass the air from air, uh, air condition area to non air condition area. So, the next and final one is the floor. So, uh, if you see in the HAP software, there will be four type of uh, things will come like uh, floor above condition space, floor above uh, unconditioned space, slab floor on grade, slab floor below grade. So, we will see one example then you can get clear understanding of this one. So, here I have given all the four cases uh, with one example. The first one is my floor is located above condition space. So, this one how you want to read here is. So, if you see here the first case is floor above condition space but you have to read in a way like this my floor is located above condition space. Then only you can get a clear understanding. For example, in this case, uh, consider you are in the first floor. Uh, this is AC area and ground floor also is the AC area. Okay. So, I am doing the half calculation for the first floor. That means, my floor is located above condition space. That means, this is the condition space and I am doing for this one half software. So, my floor is located above condition space. And coming to the second one and this one, it is uh, the floor above condition space. Like you see here, the floor above condition space and you have to read in a way, my floor is located above condition space, above unconditioned space. That means, I am doing the calculation for the first floor again same, but ground floor, this is non-AC area. Okay. So, uh, mainly what will happen at this floor, there will be a load transfer. Okay. So, and the load transfer will be very high. So, you have to read in a way, my floor is located above unconditioned space. And coming to the third one, that is slab floor on grade slab floor on grade. So, that means your uh, floor is located directly over the ground like this. What you see here, my floor is located on the grade or ground floor. So, you are, you flow, your floor is uh, AC floor or non-AC whatever it is. So, first of all, your floor is located on the ground floor and uh, it is directly on the ground. Okay. So, there is no floor below that one. So, that time there will be some small amount of load will come and the final one is the last one if you see here, the slab floor below grade. That means, uh, 
if you go here okay basement floor okay suppose consider uh, you are doing the exercise for the ground floor that is the ac area and below that there is a basement floor that is a non ac area okay so there will be again some amount of load will transfer to the floor so now below i have uh, shown two example the first what i consider is uh, floor above unconditioned space that means as i mentioned my floor is located above unconditioned space okay so in this case what happen if you see here the flow transmission uh, uh, this is the floor area i entered so 93 watts sensible load okay so that much amount of load is transfer if the case is floor above unconditioned space but if the case if is uh, floor above condition means my floor is located above condition means there will not be any heat transfer because the uh, below floor also air condition area and this is the another case in this case if you see slab floor on grade that means as i mentioned uh, my floor is located directly on the ground there is no basement or there is no floor uh, below my floor okay so in this case if you see the flow transmission 11 meter square the load is uh, almost there is no load okay so these are the two difference between two, uh, these two load so in our case uh, you know that so in our exercise uh, as i mentioned earlier uh, we have the parking uh, surrounding area only we don't have any basement floors for the parking so our floor is located directly over the uh, ground okay so if you have that the, that type of cases then uh, there will not be load so uh, what i shown here is suppose uh, you you have the condition like this you are going to do the exercise for the half for the first floor and there is a ground floor with a non ac area so that time the load will transfer because of the non ac floor and this floor will be acting as a uh, load concern okay so if you have this type of thing then you have to consider this one uh, q is equal to u a delta t u and a you know that uh, we got the answer from the table u and a is the area of the floor and delta t i mean in that case what you have to do okay but in our case we don't have any issue we will make the load zero but if you have the condition like that then you have to do like this so delta t means what will happen so outer temperature let's say mention here outer temperature minus to indoor temperature and here the unconditioned area okay so that is the thing for example here there is a outdoor uh, outdoor temperature 115 will be there and indoor it will be 75 but in the unconditioned area minus 5 so that means uh, 115 minus 75 minus 5 that will be 35 degree fahrenheit so if you have the case like this then you have to consider but in in our case as i mentioned no there is no uh, basement floor so you will make it zero so finally what will happen the total room internal sensible load is equal to q people load so in the people load we consider only sensible load okay the latent load is there that will consider in the next one so q light load then uh, we appliances uh, appliances we don't have any appliances what i shown is for your example only that uh, coffee and uh, hand dryer everything i showed so that hand dryer that is only for your example okay then partition we have the partition load yeah the load is 433 by 94 and uh, finally floor in our case we don't have so what i shown here the example is for your understanding only okay so finally we got 2240 Uh, 0.54 bt per hour this is the total room internal sensible load and we have two more option room external uh, sensible load then external to internal load and some latent load so if you find out this type of load then you can uh, you can summarize like you can uh, get the total air flow total cooling load uh, off coil temperature so everything we can find out if you find out this type of load we have a question question raised by one of a valuable friend uh, through the mail id okay so actually in uh, what he did is um, he sent me his uh, workout hap file and he archived the file he sent to me i retrieved and verified uh, there was there was some mistake so uh, actually he asked a few more question also so i i, I highlighted uh, some question from there so what the what his question is i have heard in many places if the building is small we consider like the building like a light uh, we can consider building weight is light then for the medium rise building it is medium and for the high rise building i consider the building weight as high so what is the purpose of this entry and how it affect the cooling load so like you see here the hap load and the hap uh, software we have a option building weight light medium and heavy so what he told is correct we are considering uh, in that sequence only for the residential building villas this thing we consider light one and for the high rise medium rise building is a uh, medium for the safety point of view uh, we will not go with the low low rise for example you have a villa with the g plus 1 in future there is a chance that the g plus 1 may be developed to g plus 2 or 3 so there is a chance so that's why we will never go with a light one so even though it is a villa we will consider the uh, medium of uh, medium weight only okay so what is the reason for consider this one i will explain you that 
and one more thing is uh, after completing this uh, full cooling load calculation video i will give you this wad file also uh, this file also to you so because uh, normally the basic definition like what is u value what is r value so these are the things i didn't explain to you because uh, it is already there in this my file i have explained and with uh, some examples also is very clear for you so after end of this uh, series like uh, cooling load calculation i will give this file also okay okay so coming to the point uh, for the question for example when the solar load from the sun strikes the surface of the building wall there will be a heat transfer a heat transfer from outside wall to internal wall that means this heat is uh, first absorbed by the solid wall okay that means uh, where the exposed wall is there the heat will be first initially absorbed by the that exposed solid wall after that what will happen then the heat will rise the temperature at the surface of material inside that means the conduction because from the outside the heat transfer will build up so continuously it will touch uh, till the internal parts so it will be a conduction okay and after that it also touches the inside room air also air adjacent to the surface so that time what happened it's not a direct contact it will be convection so the next what happened here is the heat conducted means the radiant heat that is uh, from the surface of the material because of the conduction that will be stored okay so it, this heat this stored heat will not suddenly transfer to the internal uh, arrange uh, internal uh, appliance like uh, it will be uh, people or someone else so this will not be direct heat it will be a stored heat but what happened the heat convected because of the air okay from the surface becomes an instantaneous cooling load okay so when it touches the air so this heat will be quickly transferred to the internal uh, internal arrangements okay so that is the reason uh, we have uh, different percentage you can as you see here the heat gain source for example if it is a fluorescent light the radiant heat is 50 percent that means this heat will be initially stored inside the so uh, solid material okay then uh, after that convective heat means it will be a quick rising uh, rising of heat load okay so that's the difference between radiant heat and convection heat so now the portion of radiant heat being stored depends on the ratio of the resistance to heat flow that means the r value okay so how much resistance the wall the floor the partition wall or what are the things have so it depends on that one so it's the ratio of the resistance to heat flow into the material and the resistance to heat flow into the air flame okay so this is the uh, dependence and here with the light construction less heat is stored that's the point with the light construction less heat is stored at the peak that means less capacity cap uh, less storage capacity available and with the heavy construction more heat is stored Okay, that means more storage capacity is available with the wall or floor or whatever. So what happens if the storage heat is there after some time this storage heat also will transfer to the uh, equipment area so the equipment has to consider this load also okay for example in our case we have the partition wall so the partition wall the another side is ex uh, one side is exposed to one so there we have the storage heat this storage heat after some time it will transfer to the ac area okay so that's why the software has to consider this one also so now the second step is to calculate the external sensible heat load is very very easy one q is equal to ua delta t already we know the u value uh, we already found the u value for all floor roof everything so we just need to simply apply the formula and we can get the answer for this one so here the first one is exposed to wall material specification temperature differential for exposed to wall material specification so what we are going to do we will use the career handbook we will find out the temperature differential uh, delta t for all the sites and for example east west north south and based on our project requirement for here our example uh, we consider room number 5 so room number 5 what are the direction we have exposed to wall so that uh, value only we will consider so initially we will find out the value then based on our requirement we will uh, we will consider the value so the first one here is external wall 12 inch okay the same uh, we consider for the u value the same arrangement external wall 12 inch uh, weight is 123 pounds per square feet it's a solid brick wall okay so we'll go to the uh, career handbook page number 62 table number 19 so if you see here table 19 equivalent temperature difference as page number 62 and we know that there are different uh, here you can see the exposure there are different uh, directions are given okay so let's see uh, what is the weight of the wall we need so for uh, our case it is 12 inch 123 123 pounds is the weight and if you see here weight of the wall pounds per square feet so let's start from east 
for example 123 means it is between this uh, 100 and 140 okay so here this side they have given x direction they have given the different timing 1 2 3 pm am different so we need to know what time we need to consider okay so first if, if you see here normally the higher temperature in a day is observed uh, like 2 pm okay but what happened but the storage heat transfer heat like as i told you uh, there will be heat storage will be there in the exposed wall and in the non partition, uh, partition wall and different area like so what happened here that storage heat will transfer to the uh, ac area after some time so now the highest temperature if we say 2 pm quickly at 2 5 2 10 the transfer will not happen it will take some time so that's why we are considering one hour additional so uh, 2 hour, 2 pm is the maximum uh, heat load uh, in the day from there one hour additional mean at 3 pm we will consider this example okay so here uh, our building weight is between these two and we are going to consider 3 pm so 20 plus 19 we need to take the average okay so 20 plus 19 divided by 2 that means uh, uh, we have to consider 39 divided by 2 that is the answer so for the east direction here i put 19.5 okay that is 39 divided by 2 the next one is the west one the same exercise we will repeat now and for the west we need to see here the building weight is between 100 and 140 and we need to see at uh, 3 pm so 3 pm 3 pm is here if i go down to the west and it is uh, between this uh, 10 and okay 10 and 10 so 20 divided by 2 so the answer will be 10 here so east and west is done the next one is the north one so north one if you go to the same table and here we can see the north one and again the building weight 100 and 140 we have to consider in between these two and it's uh, 3 pm here uh, if you see 3 pm here if i go straight and it is uh, here so 3 is at 100 and 1 at 140 pounds so average of these two is uh, 3 plus 1 4 4 by 2 2 so the two we need to consider for the north wall uh, so the next one is south one we will repeat the same step quickly so south it is here and you can see it is 100 and 140 it is uh, here and at 3 pm so 3 pm means I mean, you, can, you can see this uh, you can take the average of 15 uh, plus 17 so 22 by 2 it is 11 ok so now we found out the uh, temperature differential for the all the direction now we need to see in our room number 5 comes under what direction the exposed wall so this is our uh, project if you see here we have two exposure one from the west side one from the north side okay so we need to consider the temperature differential value only for these two wall west and north so next one important step is uh, we need to add the correction factor here okay so in the part 5 video i will start with this question answer so if you have any comment so please add your comment in the comment section and if you have if you want to ask any doubt please send me a mail with the project information so i can help you so till then bye bye see you